Hello everyone, welcome back to Driscoll Photography. Really quick video, um, just on a very simple edit. I took a picture this morning at six o'clock um, as the sun is rising just behind those trees. Uh, this was taken on my Sony A6000. Now this is straight out of camera, no edits here whatsoever. What you see is what you get. Um, now this is going to be edited in Photoshop Elements 11. Um, it's basically the cheaper version of Photoshop. Um, Photoshop is a hell of a lot more complicated, um, so Elements is a great starting point for people like myself. Now, A, I want to thank you for watching this video, so please like, subscribe, um, troll me, comment. You know, if I'm doing something wrong, if I sound like an idiot, tell me. It's fine, I can take it, I have thick skin. Um, now, what I want to do now on the morning of, uh, well, this morning um, at 6 a.m. Now the sun is just about to rise, but the actual image, um, viewing it through my eyes, was a hell of a lot brighter. Um, now I purposely wanted the trees in silhouette form. Um, I love this tree here. I think it really gives it character. Um, and some of the leaves. Now the foliage is really, really hideous and mossy. If I bring the shadows up, I'll be able to show you. Um, it's really green and ugly, and I really don't like it whatsoever. Um, and bringing that up kind of looks like HDR. So what I'm gonna do is just take the shadows down to minus 10. Um, we're gonna take the highlights down a touch just to bring out some more color along the clouds here. Um, it was quite overcast, um, and it did chuck it down shortly after. Uh, but I did manage to get out and, and sort of capture the pinkies here um, and the dark clouds. And I, I don't know, I just quite like it. Um, now, the only thing that annoys me is this bin right here. Now, obviously, it's a local park, um, so you're going to have bins. Um, now, the reason I took it here, uh, as you can see, there's a tennis court there. You can just see the net there. Um, the reason being I didn't want to take a photo and have everything empty. I wanted something here um, that sort of breaks up the photo um, and I feel like it does that. I love the tree how it snakes up here and kind of this bit here as well kind of draws you into this focal area. Um, tell me if I'm wrong uh, but it's leading me all the way in. Um, now what I want to do is look at the white. If you bump it up it's going to blow the sky out completely if you take it down it's really going to be totally dull and boring so I'm just going to bump it up by 10 um, now as I said being there in person now everyone's seen a sunrise or a sunset um, and maybe taken a photo now the photo doesn't represent anything like how you felt how it looked in real life um, so what I'm going to do is just warm it up a touch um, to how I feel it was the morning of see that's a bit too much let's take that back a touch i think 6500 is fine now i'm gonna bump the clarity up a touch not by a lot but it's good to give it some clarity um and then what i'm also gonna do um is if i lean forward because my laptop screen is terrible um it shows me completely different information different areas that I view it if you look it from top down I can see all the highlights that's still there and um, I've just gotten rid of these so these are now perfect silhouettes now what I'm gonna do and I can only apologize if I'm sniffing and sneezing I have a terrible cold um, but I really fancied getting out and doing something today um, now I did introduce noise reduction um, the reason being is that if you take a photo um, in the early hours of the morning or maybe late at night the less light available um, the more noise you're gonna get in your photo and it can really ruin it um, so I'm quite pleased with how this came out um, I mean it's not bad I was walking the dog um, so she did demand a lot of my attention um, and did wonder why I was standing still a lot taking photos um, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open this up in Photoshop's element Photoshop elements 11 it's kind of a mouthful when you're tired um, now 
with the Sony A6000 and uh, Elements 11, um, you have to convert it to a DNG file, an Adobe DNG file, to actually read it to then bring it into Camera Raw because the ARW file is not read. Um, it's not updated in the software of Elements 11. The new Elements, which I think is 14, could be higher, uh, that has all the new camera data. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to unlock this layer um, so we can actually edit it. Now, this here is called Nix software, N-I-X. Now, you used to pay for it, um, and I know a lot of people that used to um, use it when it first came out, and I think it cost about £150. Um, now, as of earlier this year, they released it completely free. Now, I'm not sure why. Um, maybe because it wasn't being used and they felt like maybe they could bring in a larger audience. Well, they definitely gained one because it's handy to have it here. It's just a plug-in. Every time you load it up, it's just there. Um, I do not get paid to represent this company. As I said, it's completely free. Now, I'm all about free. Um, I am a completely budget photographer. Um, it is my passion. And I thought I'd share it with you guys. Now, what we're going to do, um, first of all, is I want to edit. Um, now, on Elements 11, what you can do is you can go into the quick edit. Um, now, there is a smart fix. Now, smart fix, it thinks it should be there. But sometimes, if you just have a little look, it can kind of give you an idea of where you want to go. Um, now the exposure I feel is absolutely fine it could probably go up by 0 0.1 maybe like so just to I know it doesn't make much of a difference but it kind of does um, now shadows as you can see that just looks absolutely vulgar um, I mean I can bring some detail back so as I said this is if you're starting out um, it's it's really good to go through this and you can get sort of a waypoint of where you are you can go to the extreme and you can go to the less and then you can sort of gauge where you want to be now for midtones i feel if i start here and then go to here it looks a lot sharper there's a lot more clarity to it um, the colors are a bit bolder there's less haze and fog so i always bump the midtones slightly not a lot just enough to give it that Va -va -voom. now highlights I love highlights highlights with sunrises and sunsets are your best friend um, again you can sort of gauge where you are um, now I don't mind that at all that is going too far and that is just ridiculous um, and then we're going to look at the color now with color you have saturation now if you want to make your your image pop don't take it there don't take it there because that just looks like Lion King, Disney craziness all rolled into one. Um, now that's on zero, that's on 25. So you make a rough of about 12, excuse me. Uh, as I said, I do have a cold and I just stifled a sneeze. Um, now if you go into hue, that just shows you different colors. I mean, it can be fun, um, especially with night photography, uh, it can be quite handy. Um, now vibrance vibrance again makes it pop you can see it there pop pop black and white ish uh, dull tones pop um, now I like that I'm this is looking more like the mood that I captured um, and as I said it was a lot warmer now that's way too warm um, so I'm gonna just pop it up by one again one makes a difference it really does um, now if we look at the image itself go to print size um, I mean it's pretty clean as I said I really like the leaves here um, that create a pattern in the sky um, as well as the cheeky little sunrise there um, now the only thing I don't like is the green color I feel that in the editing it has boosted the greens um, and you can sort of see green here as well. So what I'm going to do is just go down to adjust color, um, adjust hue and saturation, find the greens, 
Um, if I leave it there, I can see most of the picture. And then just take, if you take the saturation right down, it makes it gray and it's kind of hideous. Um, so what you want to do is maybe bring the lightness down like so just enough so it doesn't offset any of the the image so it doesn't distract I don't want the greens to distract from the oranges and the blues um, now to me that looks much better um, still a bit of green here that annoys me um, but overall I'm kind of happy with it um, it's not the best image in the world um, but it's not bad for a one of my first sunrises I've done a lot of sunsets sunrises are a hell of a lot harder um, you have no idea where the sun's gonna rise I look and it tells you one way and it comes up the other way um, it tells you six o'clock and it comes up at ten six or half past six um, and then some days you go and you get no sunrise whatsoever um, so it really is just trial and error um, but I do appreciate you guys joining me um, leave a comment a like a share this is one of my first videos this is my second edit video um, so there was a lot of waffling along uh, I do apologize I am gonna get into more depth of edits um, once a graphics tablet turns up because I find that um, the limitations with the clicker um, you know if I wanted to color this in if there was some blacks that I needed um, you know it just it just doesn't work it really doesn't work so I've got a graphics tablet on the way um, and hopefully that will enable me to do the finer points um, of editing so I could disavow disavow yeah um, as I said I've waffled on uh, but I do appreciate you guys joining me um, have a great day um, like comment troll me don't mind either way have a great day and uh, yeah get your camera out don't be afraid to take a shot um, all you got to do is take a shot and someone might notice so just keep that in mind cheers guys